Hi everyone, so you might notice something a little bit different. Yes, there's a really annoying bit of light going on there, but I'm wearing a bold lip. I feel like autumn is rolling around and I'm either in that mood where I want nothing on my lips or just something very barely there, very nude, or I wanna go all out and rock the red lip. So that is what I'm gonna show you today, my like minimal makeup red lipstick look. And actually I've counted the products, there's only eight products involved. So very minimal makeup, very fresh, very like Parisian looking with a good old Breton stripe going on. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna show you that today. And I've actually partnered with Bourjois for this video and on my lips, I'm gonna use one of the shades from their new Red in the City range. There are five families of red for five different looks and apart of those, there are six new shades. And they're grouped together, so for each red look, there are one option of the Rouge Edition 12 Hours and then one of the Rouge Edition Velvets. Now you would have seen me mention these before. The Rouge Edition Velvets are like a liquid lipstick and have a really like bold, opaque finish. And then the Rouge Edition 12 Hours are also matte, but they're more of like a semi-matte texture. Now there's definitely something in this range for everyone and every single occasion. I've actually swatched them all on my lips. Big love to the Bite Beauty lip balm afterwards for like rescuing my lips after this. But I thought I would quickly talk you through all the families and kind of my favourite shades. So there's the Poppy Rouge family, which is made up of the Rouge Edition Velvet in Hot Pepper and also the Rouge Edition 12 Hours in Rouge Your Body, and this is like an orangey red. Then there's the Pinky Rouge family, which has the Rouge Edition Velvet in It's Reading Men. Great name, <laughs> love that. And also the Rouge Edition 12 Hours in Red Bell. And for me, this is quite like a raspberry pink. I actually really like this one. The Classic Rouge family is made up of the Rouge Edition Velvet in the shade Red Revolution. See what they've done there. And also the Rouge Edition 12 Hours in Cherry My Cherie. And of course, this is just a very elegant shade. The Rouge Bordeaux family is very glamorous. It's a very like deep kind of brownie red. And in it is the Rouge Edition Velvet in Grand Cru and also the Rouge Edition 12 Hours in Red Outable. Now both of the colours in the dark brown Rouge family are new and there's the Rouge Edition Velvet in Jolie de Vin and also the Rouge Edition 12 Hours in Burgundit. <laughs> I really like that one. And these are gorgeous. It's a very deep brownie red. Now for my personal favourite is a toss up between the Rouge Bordeaux family which is very like seductive and more of like an evening colour on me or the Rouge Poppy version which is like the orangey red. I went for that one today, but I will show you that later on in the look. But first, I'm going to talk you through the rest of the products I use on my face, also my hair, and then the outfit that I'm wearing as well. So it's like a real Parisian look I've got going on today. So of course, I made sure that I moisturised well, threw on some SPF, and then I've gone back to this foundation. It is the Chanel Vitalumia Aqua Foundation, and I'm currently using this in the shade B10. B20 is like more of my summer shade, but I've definitely lost that tan that I caught in water. I'm back to my B10, but I love this foundation. I just think it has the most natural, beautiful, satiny look on the skin. It just blends in. You can't even tell that you're wearing any makeup. I just think it's beautiful. I remembered it the other day. I was like in a bit of a foundation rut and thinking of what one to use. Found this in my drawers. So chuffed that I remembered it. From an old favorite to an extremely new one, but I'm very happy to have this in my life. It is the Glossier Stretch Concealer, the lovely Tamira hooked me up. Thank you so much. I will link her blog down below for you. I use it in the shade Light 10. And it is a beautiful, beautiful concealer. You can see I've got like the mother of all spots going on on my chin at the moment. And I like this because it covers it up in a nice natural way where you can still see I've got spots. It still allows your eye bags to come through a little bit. It still keeps the freckles there. It doesn't cover too much. It's definitely not full coverage concealer. Now for bronzer, I was really into the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Sunkissed. I Loved that during the summer, and I'll definitely be going back to that next summer. But now I find that it's a little bit orangey for me, so I have to kind of tone it down a bit. And I've got this back out. It's the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Light to Medium Matte Bronzer. This just adds a lovely warmth to the skin, and it's got a very honey tone to it. It's not too orange, it's not too red, it's very beautiful. If you've got quite pale skin, I'd say this is a really good option for you because it doesn't add too much warmth to the skin. But it just has a nice matte dimension and a bit of kind of sculpture, sculpture? Sculpting to the face. For highlighter, do I really need to mention that once again, it is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfect Press in the shade Moonstone. Of course, I just added this kind of on the high points of my face, slash all over my face. I try not to put too much on my chin because obviously that just really enhances the fact that I have a massive mound on my chin right now. I just put it mainly on my cheekbones with the Charlotte Tilbury powder and sculpt brush. And for me, this is the most natural looking, non-glittery, non-shimmery highlighter that really complements my skin tone well. The brows, I kept it really simple. I actually saw my brow lady quite recently, so they've been tinted and waxed and threaded and everything. So they're looking quite groomed at the moment. So I actually didn't put any pencil through them at all. I find that when they have that tint, it kind of gives me 
the beef on the edges that I would normally put in with a pencil. So I really like that. And instead I just use the Glossier Boy Brow in the shade Brown. Yes, I am just loving all things Glossier at the moment. I will definitely be putting up a blog post soon, but this just has a very tiny wand on it. Doesn't pick up too much product. It's not too wet, it's not too dry. It doesn't leave your brows feeling crispy. Kind of is more of a wax, if anything. And it has a nice brown tint to it. So it adds a tiny amount of color, but it's not too red toned, it's not too dark. I just find this is like the perfect brow product. Love it. Good job, Glossier. Now when I'm wearing a red lipstick or just a bold lip in general, I really like to tone down the eyes and just kind of have very fluttery eyelashes and a tiny, tiny bit of shadow going on. And I find that the perfect shade right now is this from the Chanel. I think this was the Autumn Winter Collection. I think it might be sold out. If not, it's very difficult to find. So I will try and pop a dupe down below because I'm sure I've got a dupe somewhere going on there because I actually only use one of the colours. So it's a gorgeous quad. It's called the 268 Candor Experience. Not sure if that's how you say it properly, but I basically just use the pale brown in it. It's kind of like Max Sober actually. You just put it on and it basically just looks like a natural shadow on your eyelids. And I just think it looks very pretty. Adds like a bit of definition without being too much. When I saw my brow lady, she actually gave my eyelashes a bit of a lift as well. So they're looking quite full and fluttery because they were tinted as well. So I don't tend to need too much mascara going on at the moment. So I'm back to using my IT Cosmetics Tightline Full Lash Length Black Primer, which now apparently you can get in Sephora. We can get Sephora shipped to us here in the UK. Apparently it's coming to the UK, that's very exciting. It's the world's tiniest, diddiest little wand, and I just find that it adds the perfect amount to your lashes so they don't look too clumpy or too full on. Ah, the light is coming, the light is coming! <laughs> Onto the lips, and like I said earlier, I'm gonna use one of the products from the Bourgeois Poppy Rouge family. So in that, there's the Rouge Edition Velvet in hot pepper. I've spoken about this formula before and actually this exact shade before because it is one of my favourite drugstore liquid lipsticks. I used to call it red pepper though for some reason. <laughs> always get confused that it's called hot pepper but I'm not going to use that today. I feel like I fancy a lipstick today. I just like that this gives more of a semi matte finish. It's a little bit more forgiving on my lips but it's also got the longevity there as well. And as I mentioned it's got this great like curved bullet to it so it really hugs the lips very well it's very easy to apply and i just love the orange tone in it it's just my favorite type of red to wear i find that it's very forgiving and it actually goes really nicely with pale eyes so all the bourgeois lip products i've mentioned are available now and i've linked them down in the description box below along with everything else i've mentioned the whole shebang makeup clothing it is all down there so i'm quickly going to touch on hair i actually really like my hair just up in a ponytail when i've got a red lip on, I just think it looks very chic and just like put together and groomed. But today I did do a little something with my hair. I actually had it cut recently. So it's got a bit of layering going on. And what I've been tending to do is what I do all the time. You know, my whole like curling with the hair straighteners trick. What I basically do is I take it in sections. And I do one section, I curl with my hair straighteners. And then the next section I do the the waviness with the hair straighteners. So I just alternate and basically do that on repeat. And it means that you get your hair kind of wavy, kind of curly, somewhere in the middle and it doesn't look too structured or like perfectly done. And then for my outfit, I feel like I've gone very like wannabe French girl today. But whenever I wear a red lip, I just think it looks really nice with a Breton striped top. And I think this is from a brand called Amour Lux. You can actually find it in Urban Outfitters. I haven't found this exact top in Urban Outfitters, but they sell the brand there. I actually got this from a shop in Brighton called Our Daily Edit and I love it. I got it in quite big size because I like it to have that oversized fit. I like to be able to roll up the sleeves a bit and tuck it into jeans. I just think that looks really cool that it's not so tight. It's kind of got that bit of a baggy vibe to it. You know I love my baggy clothes. And then here I'm just wearing it with some Zara jeans and under the stories belt. I'm not really a jewellery person so I kind of like having belts. I feel like it adds a nice amount of detail to the outfit. And then on my feet I've got my whistles leopard print boots which I am just loving like normally I wouldn't do a pattern in a pattern but I think this looks really cool and actually these are very comfortable first day of wear horrible second day of wear like putting socks on which is great and then I'm just wearing it with my Chanel wallet on a chain because you know what's more Parisian than a Chanel wallet on a chain so that completes my minimal makeup red lip look I really hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much to Bourgeois for partnering me on this video and yeah I'll see you on Sunday with a brand new video bye